Seijo Seika here close to Rokakoen station and uh, this is a shio and shoyu ramen specialty shop I would say most people probably go for the shio ramen here and uh, it's a shop that has made some waves they were uh, Bip Gaumont uh, Michelin awarded uh, they have been in the I think Yakumeten for a while now uh, from Tabelok so they have always been ranked very high however I feel like the international tourists, the ramen otakus, have been sleeping on this place a little bit. I don't see it on a lot of to-do lists, I don't see it often posted on Instagram. So um, I was wondering why and I also had not been here and um, I mean I can only think that it's the location maybe because it's not very central but that doesn't stop people from going to other places that are quite popular and a little bit out there. And uh, yeah I have to say the bowl I just had, I absolutely enjoyed it tremendously. Probably one of the best shio ramen I all I ever had. Um, if I had to guess, I haven't looked it up yet, what is exactly in there, but if I had to guess, it's a very subtle uh, mix of chicken, uh, fresh fish, and um, some bushi, some dried fish. And uh, what really comes through is like a subtle um, sweetness. Um, and I don't know, the whole thing is very, it's subtle and impactful at the same time. And the other thing you need to know here is if you go for the most expensive thing, it's not like a top table, like at uh, many other shops where you just get a shit ton of, shop, uh, of toppings, but it's actually the combination of the regular ramen, which is super cheap, like I think 700 yen, and a um, rice bowl that is then covered with a lot of their chashu and a kind of sweet yakitori style sauce i would say and uh, some fried onions and it's just a delight i mean just for that bowl i would probably pay uh, the price that i'm getting the ramen and uh, the rice and the chashu uh, the, the rice bowl for so it's an absolute steal for 1050 yen i mean what is that today like seven dollars or something like that incredible if you come here to Seiju Seika and you're not getting that, you're an idiot. <laughs> um, I haven't tried to show you yet, but yeah, I'll probably be back here to try to show you. I was really fascinated by their shio. And uh, yeah, easy recommendation from my side. Really hard to find anything to complain about the store. I mean, you can see there's a, a line forming up. Um, I think usually they, they tell you to wait over here uh, so you're not blocking the whole um, sidewalk um, which because I heard like the the lines here can get quite long but I think uh, these days yeah uh, probably not one of the longest lines you will encounter in front of ramen shops and yeah that's all from me for today 
If you like my videos, click like and subscribe. Maybe listen to the Ramen in Japan podcast if you want to listen to me talk to other ramen nerds about ramen in Japan and ramen beyond Japan. And that's all from me for today. See you guys in the next one.